Another live Pokemon Showdown battle, and I still haven't quite figured out my whole video uploading situation. Like, I don't know, YouTube's being weird. It's telling me it's taking like 2,000 minutes for one video to upload, and I don't know, it's just weird. I just kind of waited it out for the last video to finally get uploaded, but I might try to switch... Um, the type of recording I use and maybe that'll help I'm not really sure but I'm gonna try it out I didn't go over the team really quickly this is another RU battle um this probably will be the last RU session I have before I move on to a different tier and I changed up the team a lot I only kept two of the same Pokemon and I have Drudigan the Assault Vest or Drud Dud the Assault Vest Drudigan with Sheer Force, Dragon Claw, Sucker Punch Fire Punch and Gunk Shot. Um, Gunk Shot has kind of. I always miss my Gunk Shots and it kind of sucks, but that's for fairies. And then um, we have Stinky, our Skunk Tank, returning with the Defog, Sucker Punch, Poison Jab, and Taunt. That's us. Aftermath and with Black Sludge. I'm just kind of curious to see what other moves it has, okay. Or what other abilities it had. And then there's Angel the Alamala, physically defensive with Scald, Wish, Protect, and Toxic with Regenerator, and then Lefties. And then Reggie, the Registeel, this is more of a def support, uh, especially defensive set with Stealth Rock, Toxic, Seismic Toss, and Protect. And then Karate, the Sock, this is actually an NU Pokemon, I believe. And, um, it's still very viable in RU, though. With Sturdy, Close Combat, Knockoff, Poison Jab, and Zen Headbutt. And then, this is an Adamant instead of... It's Adamant, um, because an Adamant Choice Band just hits really hard. And then, Ranunculus, um, Life... It's a Trick Room with Life Orb, and then Psychic Shadow Ball, and Energy Ball. I know Energy Ball is kind of weird. I would prefer <laughs> to run <really> Pokemon <laughs> Quest. As my dogs are going crazy, so I'm going to go into another room so that you can actually hear what I'm saying. And I went with Energy Ball. I know a lot of people run Focus Blast, but I hate Focus Blast because it misses and loses me more battles than it ever wins so I just went with energy ball instead of focus blast because like I said I hate having to rely on focus blast I never hit it so this is the team and we are going to look for an RU battle and hopefully we find one soon I'm also thinking about maybe adding a face cam to all my videos but I'm not really sure I'm not sure exactly how to do that but it is an idea I've had and I just have to play around with it and figure out how that works he does have a Spore, and Rhyperior is really bulky, and then Chinchino might be a King's Rock version. And then, um, the, wow, what is this thing called? Embor is also really powerful, possibly Choice Scarf. This is probably defensive. I haven't seen Miss Magius. Um, I don't think, I don't know if Miss Magius, Miss Magius might be, I mean, but I'm not really sure. So, I want to start off with he does have a stealth rock setter I don't see a um, rapid spinner though so I'm gonna start off with Registeel and set up my box hopefully as he does start off with Embor and that is not a good matchup for us at all so I'm going to go straight into Alamala here um because I would like to preserve this for something He'll probably go for a fire to as he goes for the grass, not actually predicting, but um, uh, that doesn't really do that much damage, so I'm just gonna toxic him. Um, that was a good uh, he, he, he might have been locked in on that to be since he had to switch. Um, but yeah, that didn't really do that much damage to us, that grass knot. So I'm just going to what do I want to do? Hmm. Um, I kind of want... I actually, you know, I kind of want to scout to see what this thing wants to do. And we'll get some lefties recovery as he does just switch into a Moongus. And he is going to spore me. I know he is. Um. 
And that sucks because I don't have anything that can really take that. Who is a use least useful member against my team? I would like to have Sock. I would like to have Dread again. Reggie Steel. I mean, I guess I can just take hits, but I would like to have that. Um, this I need for Defog, and this I just need for. What do I want to fall asleep? Well, I definitely don't want to switch into Angel. I think I'm just going to switch into Reggie Steel here. As that is what he does do, he does go for the Spore. And, well, I'm just going to. Something I can really do. He might want to switch here. I don't know. Because Amingus won't be able to do much damage to me. Because he might get Sludge Bomb, which I'm immune to. Maybe Giga Drain, which won't do much because I'm especially defensive. As he does switch out into Embor, I probably should have switched out too. But, um, what do I'm going to go. I feel like he's going to lock himself in to Grass Knot again. And I'm I'm actually just gonna go back into Alamala because seeing how much that grass knot did, it did pretty much nothing as he goes for the focus blast and misses. This is this must be a special variant of Embor. That's kind of cool. As I'm just gonna go for a scald. Um he might want to switch out. Yeah, he does switch out into Amoongus, but he won't be able to spore anything as we do get the burn. Yay! <laughs> Um, Amoongus is just kind of a pain to deal with, but I, I mean, I can't even say anything because I love Amoongus and I use it sometimes too, so I'll probably go for a Giga Drain and I'm kind of tempted to set up a Trick Room. Um, or I could go into my Skunk Take and Poison Jab things, but I kind of want to set up his Trick Room, which I'm going to do, and if he has a Sludge Bomb, I hope it doesn't poison me. <laughs> Because I do not have a cleric on this team. As he does just go for Giga Drain. Which does more than I was expecting it. But I'm just going to go for a trick room here. I don't think he's going to want to stay in. I mean, I he'll probably switch into... Obvious. As I do have the Shadow Ball. So I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. Um, I don't know if... I don't know what kind of sets these normally run, but we almost take that out as he'll take us out this turn. Oh, he doesn't. Yay. I'm just gonna... I'm actually gonna go for Psychic in case he wants to switch in his... Oh, he switches in Rhyperior, which that does so much damage. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go for an Energy Ball now. Even though I'm... Actually, I'm just gonna go for another Psychic in case he... I don't know if this thing is slower than me. It might be. You know, it actually might be slower than me. Nope. He must have some speed investment because we do outspeed him. Or, we are slower than him. Um, I should really run a minus speed nature, actually. Just because I'm trick room. Um, minus speed nature would actually be beneficial. As I do have the energy ball, which I have not shown off yet. And that should just take this out. Because these do not normally run energy ball, so he wouldn't really be expecting that. As Ranunculus is um, very... <laughs> he is very... He's re at really low HP, and I don't really know if this is worth saving. So I am just going to let this thing go. And I kind of want to go for a... Um, I'm going to knock off something's item. He might just let this mag this go down. But I will get a knock off on either a kill or if he wants to switch out and save this thing, I'll knock off. I would really like to knock off whatever this thing's item is as he goes for the Dazzling Gleam. And we do get the kill as he had the leftovers. Um, yeah, I would really like... Because I don't... This might... I think... That his ember is probably choiced in some way. Um, I'm not really sure what. As I don't want to stay in on this. Um, what do I want to switch into? I don't have a lot for this to be honest. As I guess Reggie Steel isn't super helpful and he is asleep. So I am just going to switch into that. He goes for Tail Slap, which actually misses, but that would have done barely anything anyways. 
And I'm just going to go for rocks in case I wake up. Um, I don't know if that Embor is, he keeps missing tail slaps and we actually do wake up and he has no way to get rid of those rocks. So I'm just going to go for a seismic toss here, see how much damage that does. We got pretty lucky with that as he keeps missing tail, or he didn't miss that one actually. He actually hit one finally, good for him, but um, that does almost nothing as our seismic toss also does almost nothing. So I'm going to Toxic, hopefully. He might want to switch out maybe into... No, he just goes for Rock Blast, which does almost less than Tail Slap does. Um, and we will get the Toxic off this Chinchino, which is nice. Actually, uh, actually we won't get a Toxic off because we get the flinch. Um, this might be King's Rock. So we switch into Embor, and we will get a Toxic off on Embor. Um... I'm just, I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is choice, choice in some way, and it's especially, it's a special Embor, I'm guessing, judging from the moves that it has used, it had, what, Focus Blast and Grass Knot, um, Focus Blast and Grass Knot, and he keeps changing in, but I'm not sure, um, I'm, I'm not sure what kind of set this is, because Ember doesn't, I don't know what Ember special is. I guess Ember has decent special attack. As I think I'm going to go into my stinky, the song tank. As he does go for a focus blast, which does a lot of damage, actually. Um, I, what do I want to go into now? Um, I don't know if he'll keep going for focus blast. That's very possible. So I think I'm just going to go for... I think I'm going to go for Poison Jab? Uh, actually, I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch in case he wants to attack me again. Focus Blast, he, I don't know, I hate it because it just, it has like 70% accuracy and I can never seem to hit things. I, sometimes I miss things that have 90% accuracy. I mean, there was one battle I was so, um as he does miss Focus Blast. There was one battle I had where I literally missed a 100 base accuracy move three times in a row. And I was getting so pissed off just because it has a 100 base accuracy as he does miss the Focus Blast. And I should have just gone for the, um, I should have just gone for the Poison Jab in the beginning because that did more damage than anything than, um, my Sucker Punch. But that was a resisted hit. I don't really know. I don't know as he goes into his Chinchino. And I'm just going to go right back into Registeel because um, uh, Skunk Tank will not be able to take hits as well as um, Registeel does because Registeel is able to resist a lot of those tail slaps and rock blasts. He might have Bolt Z too, but we'll resist that also. And Registeel is a really. Are you as built as a defensive Pokemon. Um, I don't know. It's it's also it's just not my favorite tier. But I, I have never played R NU actually. So I'm kind of excited to play that. As I would like this thing toxic, but I'm, he might try to switch in Moongus. Uh I'm still gonna go for toxic. As he does, he knocks off our leftovers, but we do get the toxic off. I am perfectly okay trading our leftovers for toxic. So I'm just going to go for seismic toss. As this register has been helpful because we, as he does have the bolt seed, which does less than, I'm pretty sure that does less than the tail slap did, and it does, it does 2.5. I'm pretty sure this thing is King's Rock at this point because he keeps getting flinches. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to protect, save myself damage, I'll get some toxic damage off, even though this is kind of, I am kind of stalling him out, but it is King's Rock, and, um, as he does just forfeit, so we win that one, um, even though he did forfeit, he really didn't have a way to win, because I had, I mean, he could try to spore me, but I did have the Skunk Tank and the Sock with Poison Jab, which would have done a lot of damage, this was about to go down, so, and I'm going to look. I'm going to do another battle. 
I'm kind of glad we got an almost full one. I'll probably just do two video, two battles this video, unless this one ends up being super short. Um, but I kind of like this team better than the ones I've been using. But um, I don't know. I've also only done two battles with this team. I did one off screen, and then the other one you just saw now. As he has a team full of shinies, and he he left right away. Um. That was weird. Okay, I'm just gonna keep that on, and I will claim our victory, and then I'm going to look for another battle. Um, hopefully we'll find, we'll probably find one somewhat quickly, as, um, yeah, that was weird. He must have just not want to battle me, or I don't know. Yeah, his team was all shinies. Um, I really like shiny claw Lyncher, but... The other shinies just kind of look worse than their regular counterparts. But, I don't know, shinies don't have the same stigma in Showdown as they do in, um, like, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi battles. Because in Oris Wi-Fi battles, you have to do a shit ton of breeding for those, um, shinies. As we do find another battle here, I mean, you can just kind of get them whenever. Um, he does have the Jig Trio, which could trap something. Shift Tree... I haven't seen Shift Tree often. Um, he has this. Seismitoad, Malouetta, might be Specs, don't know. And then Cobillion, and then Flygon, which might be Banded. So I'm going to go. He does have Stealth Rocks. Um, I kind of want to. I'm going to start off with Skunk Tank, actually. Do I? Do I really want to start off with that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. As we get a um, spectator here. And I'm just going to exit out of this now. As we're in the 1200s now, which I'm still in my eye. He goes for the seismitoad. Um, I'm going to taunt him in case he tries to set up rocks. And that is what he tries to do. But other than that, I don't want to stay in on this. I was just predicting he wanted to get his rocks set up right away. So now I'm going to switch out into Angel. Because he won't be able to touch this thing if he does so decide to stay in. Because he does go for the Earth Power. He's actually specially. Uh, I'm physically, but we still take that just fine. I'm going to Toxic him here. Um. Yeah, I I I had a feeling he might want to start off with his Seismitoad and get his rocks up right away. So I just wanted to taunt him to make sure he couldn't do that, and that is what he tried to do. So he goes for the skull, and he gets the burn. Uh, he does get the burn, but we get the toxic. Um, as his taunt ends, and he very well might go for his rocks now. So I kind of want to switch in something else. Um... I'm actually going to go into Ranunculus here. I do think he's going to try to stealth. He does set up his rocks. Um, I'm going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Trick Room. He might want to Earth Power me or something. Maybe he'll switch out. As he does just switch out and I get a free Trick Room set up. But I don't know. I Shadow Ball won't really do anything... And this probably has Shadow Ball too, and I don't think I'll be able to hit this in one move. Um, so I'm almost tempted to switch out. And I think I'm going to. At least I'll be able to save this for later. But I'm not confident in my ability to take that out in one hit. As he gets the Shadow Ball, and I kind of want to defog, but I'm also... Eh, I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch. Actually, he might want to switch. Because that's not a really good matchup for him. Um, he does switch, and I did go for the Sucker Punch. Ah, I didn't get to um, cancel my attack soon enough. As he might want to do some kind of Earth Power to me, or um, Earthquake. Hmm. <laughs> um, oh, I would really like to get this Defog off, but... Actually, I will go first, but he will still have his... Um, he still has his Stealth Rock Setter. Uh, what to do, what to do. I think I'm just going to go back into Alamala here and we'll 
keep taking stealth rock damage, but I'm not really that weak to stealth rocks, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. As he does switch, he does U turn out, and don't know what he wants to go into. Um, maybe Kobarian. He does go into Meloetta, and uh, I guess I don't. I would like I would like to still have this thing though. I'm just gonna go into Reggie Steel here. As I have a trick room, but it's not helping me at all. As he goes for Hyper Voice, which actually does kind of a lot for a physically defensive resisted hit. But I am gonna go for I kinda wanna go for my own rocks. Which I think is what I'm going to do here. Does he have a defogger? His um, flygon might have defog as he does. Trap me. That kind of sucks. But um, that was a good play because Registeel is a big pain in his side as it resists a lot of his Pokemon. So I'm just going to go for the Toxic. There's really no point in like trying to protect or anything because, um, yeah, we do get the Toxic off though. Actually, now I'm going to protect just for a little passive recovery, um, or passive damage, so maybe I might be able to take it out with something later. As I do protect, he probably will go for the EQ. And, um, I'm going to, I mean, it doesn't matter what I go for, because I'm going to die here. As he might want to go into his, I don't know if his Flygon will carry Earth Power or not, or uh, Defog or not, because it seems like... I don't know, it seemed like more of an offensive thing. I don't want to bring this in because my sturdy will be broken. I would like to get these rocks gone. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go for Alamala here. He'll trap me, but it's, um. I had to be careful about what Pokemon I wanted to switch in because whatever I did would be trapped. So I'm just going to go for a here. Um, I, I mean, I don't have a cleric on this team, I usually keep a cleric, but I opted for, I opted to not have one this time. Um, actually my Alamala, the battle I did off screen was also burned, but it still put in a lot of work despite being burned. And burn just kind of negates the leftovers anyways. So I guess it's not it's not a huge deal being burned for Alamala, especially because it's not physically it's um it's not a physical attacker. Cause so I think burn does like twelve per twelve point five percent something or something every turn, and then leftovers you get twelve point five. So it just kind of negates each other. So he's taking kind of a long time to decide what he wants to do, but since he did not set the timer on me, I'm not going to set it on him. I'm just gonna unless he takes an insanely long time to make his move. I will, um, I'll just stay in as I get the, I do get the burn though, I get the burn. As, um, I'm gonna protect here, cause I feel like this might be Specs. And I kind of just want to see what he's going to lock himself into. Um, but we will not be able to take that very well. So, I am going to switch in Skunk Tank here. I am fully specially defensive, but I'm, I think this is a, a Specs, or a uh, Specs Malweta, and he does get the crit, which probably did matter there. Um, I'm going, what do I want to do? I'm going to go into Dread again. I don't know if he's going to want to save this. I'll go for the Sucker Punch on the off chance that, actually, ah, uh, no, I'm still going to go for the Sucker Punch. Because Malawet is at really low HP. He might possibly want to save it, but, um, because it could still do a lot of damage. I do think it is Specs, and now that my Registeel is out of the way, I don't have any resist to it. But I do take it out with a Sucker Punch, which is good for us. But I unfortunately have to live with these rocks now, because I have no Defogger anymore. My Defogger is gone. Um, so, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to live with that. I don't know what he wants to do for this, to be honest. 
because um, Dredigans is a very good Pokemon in RU, and his um, Dugtrio is toxic and very hampered, and I do not believe his Flygon has, has Defog, just by the fact that he hasn't Defogged yet. And it seemed to be like a more offensive set. Pop maybe banding <coughs> as he just goes into Seismitoad here. And I don't have a lot for a Seismitoad. Um, and I would like to keep this. So I'm just going to go back into Angel. Um, or should I set up a Trick Room? I kind of want to do that too. I kind of want to do that too, so I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Or, no, I don't, oh, well, my starter's going to be broken no matter what, but I would like to have a safe switch into Sock if I can get it. <coughs> As he just goes for Scald, um, oh my gosh, he gets the burn. Ah, everything is getting the burn. As I am going to go for a... Do I want to just... I'm going to go for a Trick Room. Um, the burn is really... I really wish I, he wouldn't have gotten the burn, because now the snake is kind of on the timer. Even though the burn doesn't... It's At least it doesn't like have my attack. As he goes for the Earth Power, uh, I really wish he wouldn't have gotten the burn. But we will take out the Seismitoad. Um... There's really no point in saving this now. I'm just going to do literally as much damage as I possibly can. So he goes into Shift Tree, which does resist my Psychic and may have Sucker Punch. Probably does have Sucker Punch, so he'll probably take me out and I won't really get anything done with this. Um, is it worth me switching? I don't know. I don't know if it is worth me switching. This is burned. It's very slow. It will have to take a hit. I will have to take damage on something else. Um, I'm trying to decide if this thing is really useful or not for me to keep, and I don't think it is. So I am just going to let a Sucker Punch take me out. Because that is what he goes for, like, predict it, and that is actually a Life Orb Shiftry. That's kind of cool. Um... Well, I'm slower, so I'll go first. I guess it might as well take advantage of the trick room while it's up, and I do have the fire fang on this, which I or fire punch, which I'm going to reveal now. Um, you might just want to sucker punch again, possibly, but if he doesn't, we'll still we'll go first. Um. I'm trying to think of how... Juddigun does do a lot of damage to the remainder of his team, so I really need this thing alive. And it is unfortunate that we keep taking Stealth Rock damage, but um, there's nothing I can really do about that, as I did go into the Fire Punch, which was a resisted hit. And I am pro... I'm going to be... I'm just going to go for a Dragon Claw, because I'm faster... I mean slower, so I will go first. And Trick Room is actually helping my Dredigan. I do have a kind of slow team, though. I do have a slow team. Because I don't think I have really any fast Pokemon except Sock, who isn't even that fast. He's like base 85 speed. But, yeah. Sock is my fastest Pokemon, so Trick Room does help this team. As he does trap me here. Um, I'll probably EQ me. I'm kind of tempted to go for a Sucker Punch. Which is what I'm going to do now that Trick Room is gone. And it failed because he did memento instead that is that's a good um that was a good that was a good play but i mean i guess he took himself out <laughs> as he goes into the cabillion and um i'm just gonna go into alamala here because i don't really need it and i would love to get the safe <laughs> switch into something okay scary it's swords dance um uh, I'm just gonna go for Scald. Hopefully I'll get the burn. Hopefully I'll live whatever he does. He just keeps going for sword stances. I would love to get the burn. But we do not. We do not get the burn. We will not live a hit from this now. Um, I would have really loved to have the burn on this. 
as that is just going to take us out. What kind of, what speed tier is this? He might be faster than everything I have left, actually. And I think he is. That sucks. I don't have anything that can outspeed this, and I pretty much had to let him set up because I had nothing I could do, and I'm kind of wishing I had the scarf on this now, but I do not, um, and my sturdy is broken, so I can't live a hit from that. Alright, it sucks. It really does, um, because I don't know what Kabillion's speed is, but he is going to probably be faster than me, because this seems to be an offensive variant of Kabillion. So he'll probably just sweep the rest of my team because at plus three, I have nothing, like, I won't be able to take any hits because that is insane power right there. And he does have a speed of 108, so he is going to outspeed the rest of my Pokemon. And yeah, we're just, he's just going to sweep the rest of my team. I wish my Sturdy wouldn't have been broken. That really sucks that it was, um, because I would have been able to hit this with a close combat, but yeah, that just takes us out. Just takes us out. And he's going to, he's going to take out the rest of my team. That really sucks. I can't, lit, I can't take a plus three hit. Especially with all this stealth rock damage that I've gotten. I can go for the sucker, no, he has justify. I'm not doing that. I forgot justify. So, this will be a loss. We were doing pretty good. If this Cobillion had been a more defensive set, we could have won. Because I could have taken him out with Sock, but he turned out to be an offensive set, and he set up, and there was nothing I could do. Nothing I could do about that, um, and we didn't get the burn, and he did, he does give us a good game, so I'll give him a GG back. And that was a, that was a good battle, I really enjoyed it, um, I, it was really good, we made, both made some good plays, but, yeah, if this would have been defensive, we could have won, but it was offensive, and I just had nothing for this thing, because it's just set up on me, my sturdy was broken from the stealth racks, so I wasn't able to get the defog off earlier, and if, even if I had the sturdy not broken, I could have taken this out too, but, and then I could have taken the shift tree out with my, um, dread again, but that was not the case, and this ended up being a loss for us, but it was still a good battle. And thank you guys for watching. I will upload this video today. Maybe I can get a few more up today. I know uploads have been slow. I just, um, we, I, I explained earlier that I had that whole uploading issue and that I just haven't had a, really a chance to upload. I've been pretty busy these past few days, but I'm going to try. I'm also going to try to do a face cam thing if I can figure out how that works. But, um, thanks for watching.